Obviously, English. Oh, like the language for character voices. Okay, yeah. Ooh, I want to be a cute girl. I'm gonna be a cute girl. I'm gonna be a cute girl. Hello, is it me you're looking for? Are you ready to start? Yeah! I want to be the very best. Oh, bro. Okay, okay. Pokemon Snap! Wait. Who is that? Who, who is that? Oh, is that me? Am I wearing thigh highs? Okay. I'm totally wearing thigh highs. Look at me, rocking it. Hey, over here! Aw, hi! Aw, oh, she's cute too. Hi there, I'm glad you made it. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Laboratory of Ecology and Natural Sciences, or LENS, for short. My name is Mirror. I'm researching Pokemon in their natural environment here on Florio Island. Yeah, so... Yeah, and that's not all. Professor's gonna study every single island here in the lintel. Did they just name this region after a bean? Like a bean? Like lentils? No one's ever done an ecology survey like this before. It's gonna be amazing. No one? Aren't you forgetting a certain explorer? <laughs> Oops, good point. You read the stories of Captain Vince, haven't you? No, I haven't. But... But even counting him, Professor, your survey is going to be the first of its kind in a hundred years. That's awesome. Thank you. Well, thanks. This is Rita. Her parents are good friends of mine. She's here on vacation while her school's on break. I'm not just here to goof off, Professor. I'm your research assistant. <laughs> ah, yes, that's right, and I appreciate the help. Mm. Anyway. Now, before we go over what you'll be doing in this program, why don't we step into the lab to get settled? Yeah. Right here, are, Professor. I'll lead the way. All right, allow me to explain. The lintel le region is absolutely teeming with Pokemon. But photographing those Pokemon help us learn more about them and their ecosystem. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what you're here to do. By the way. At night, you might even get to see glowing Pokemon. They're really pretty. Aw, guys, come on. Glowing Pokemon? Come on. Come on. Now, without further ado, here's your research camera. Aw, that's a cool looking camera. <laughs> I've got the same one. We can use them to communicate with each other and the rest of the team, too. That's right, it's more than just a camera. It lets you keep in touch and analyze data on the fly. Yep. It also serves as a sort of id badge for you here, so take good care of it. Bruh. Okay, this is so cool. I like my controller vibrated. What do you think? Awesome, right? <laughs> the professor invented it. Professor. Can I explain how to use a professor? Anyway. Sure thing, Rita. Assist away. I'll go take care of some other preparations. Yep. All right, come on, let's go outside. Oh my God. Guys, I have been looking forward to this game for a minute. Tutorials are based on default button layouts. Let's see. Ah, oh, let's see. <laughs> Perfect timing. Okay. Okay, so. Try getting a shot of that, Pokemon. A shot of that Pokemon. Press, Press A, a to, to take a take photo. A okay, okay, so do I just have to wait? Yes, okay. I mean, I feel like I should be able to control my camera. Now, what now why don't you try moving? Okay. 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 See that circle in the center of your viewfinder? That's called the pointer. Okay. I'm wondering if this is going to be on rails like all the other Pokemon. Well, the only other Pokemon Snap game. If you use the left stick to move the pointer around, the camera will move to follow. Okay. It. Give it a try. Oh. Cool. You can point the camera up and down, and even spin all the way around, left or right. Okay. That's cool. You can use motion controls to aim your camera too. Ow! Oh, look! Here goes oh, Pikachu! 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 I'm about to take a Pikachu! Try getting a shot of that Pikachu! Yeah! First, 
Mm. First, Luke, yeah, yeah, I got it. Duh. Did you see that shape appear around Pikachu just now? Yeah. Whatever that shape is around is the subject of your photo. Remember that. It'll be important. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Photo. This is really cool. Try snapping a photo. That's it. Yeah, let's go. But since Pikachu's a little far away, it looks kind of small. Huh? Yeah, that's fair. Times like this call for zoom. Okay, how do I zoom? To zoom in, just hold the DL. DL. Oh, I just moved my microphone. Until you let go. They, okay. Try snapping a photo. Try snapping a Pikachu, Pikachu nice, and, nice big. and big. Okay. Yeah! Great. See how much bigger it looks that time? It looks way bigger. Whole body smack dab in the middle of the frame, looking big. Yeah, okay. Looks like you've already gotten the hang of using your camera. Oh, right. You can adjust your camera and motion controls from the settings menu. You can also adjust them from the Okay, well, let's see if we can get some motion controls going on here. That's always fun. How was that? I hope you're getting the hang of your research camera. Anyway. Now then, I'll evaluate the photos you took. First of all. Would you mind choosing one shot of each Pokemon? Yeah. Okay, here we go. That's more relaxed, right? I'll rate them using my special scoring system. Pick whichever shot you think's are the best. Okay. Try selecting the Pikachu folder. Okay, that one that one is much closer, yeah. Now select the Vivellian photo. Press start for show professor. Okay, okay. Photographer Cappy. Starting with photo number one. A new discovery. Ooh. First thing I do is rate each photo from one to four stars. I came up with this system to help us understand and categorize how Pokemon behave. Photos of Pokemon in an ordinary state get fewer stars. More unusual behavior means more stars. Simple enough, right? To be clear, the number of star a photo receives doesn't affect its score. Each category is important. By the way, the camera keeps the logs of what was happening when you took each photo. That data helps me Categorize your photos. Let's move on to the scoring. First of all, evaluate the subject pose. Having your photo. Okay. Okay, so size is. It's all pretty self explanatory. Okay, good, looking good. Hard to believe you're a beginner. Okay. Okay, that's not bad at all. Not a Vivellian one. This one should go by faster because we went through the tutorial, I guess. Nice work. Okay, no other Pokemon scene. Nice. What did you think? Once you get your photos evaluated, you can use them to fill out your very own Pokemon photo decks. That'll be a great milestone to work towards. All right. That about does it. I think it's time you set off on your own adventure. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah. Then. That should about do it. See this pod? It'll carry you on your photography expedition. Ooh, yeah, it is going to be on rails. Nice. Called a Neo One. It's the best. It can teleport to far off places in no time flat. Here's the thing. I finally put the finishing touches on it not long ago, with a little help from someone I know. You see, it makes use of energy hotspots scattered throughout the Wintel region. Jeez. Come on, Professor. The details can wait. Fair enough. Let's get you moving. Climb on in and touch your camera to the console. Look at me go. I'm so cute. Bro. Good luck. You got this. Enjoy your first photo expedition. Bro, that's so cool. Okay, save it in the Okay, here I am. Okay. Bro, okay, here we go. One second. That's the entrance to Florio Nature Ooh. Park. Oh. Okay, I'm going to take one of that. The Neo one will automatically okay, we've already got Vivellian. Ooh. Ooh. You can just focus on looking around and Okay, I got Pichu. Where Grookey go? Where Grookey go? Where Grookey go? Okay. Hey, Grookey, turn around. Grookey! 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 
fine. Okay, what else we got? Oh, hello. Oh, he's dancing. Aw. Okay, we got the Vivellian there. Ooh, is that a Bidoof? Oh, that was a... Dude. Okay, we got the Bidoof. Okay. That's an Amolga. That's huge. Turn around, little guy. Brock and Mike. Here we are. At the start of an Amolga nest. Oh. Oh, did I just get him? Oh, man. I think I actually managed to get that. Ooh. What is that? That is a crystal bloom. Okay. What else we got? Ooh, a bunch of wild Taylor. Okay, that's two little Taylor sitting in a tree. That's not a tree, that's a trail. Yo, bro. Okay. Oh, bro. Okay, let's see if we can get one more splash from that magic carp. Come on. Come on, Magikarp. It knows I'm looking. It knows. Dang. Rookie. Okay. There's a Pichu there. That's a bunch of Bidoof. I don't really quite care to get more Bidoof photos. Oh, what is that? That's a Hoot Hoot. Is he gonna move somewhere? Doesn't look like it. It's a nocturnal Pokemon, so I'm not likely to get a photo of it. Ah, oh, there's a little, cute little Wormpole. Okay. Oh, bro, that was mint. That was such a good one. Okay, nice. See, in the original Pokemon Snap, there was a bunch of, like, fun things you could do. Ooh, look at that Favellion. Oh, are those, like, a... What is that? Aromatus? That's a Comfy. Okay. It looks like I'm reaching the end of the place. But in the original Pokemon Snap, there were, like, things you could do and pictures you could take and things you could throw in order to, like, ooh, that's a Florgans. That's huge. But yeah, there were, like, secret ways to get pictures of different Pokemon. That symbol marks the spot where you'll teleport back to camp. Okay, yeah, so I was right. Anything else? Basically, it's the end of the course. Okay. I'll take a look at your photo. Welcome back. I hope you had a good time in Florio Nature Park. Anyway. Now, just like before, it's time to show me some photos you took. Go ahead and choose one photo per Pokemon. Okay, how many photos did I even take? Yo! Okay. Okay. I kind of like the sleeping photo. That's a weird thing. Okay, I only got one of Pichu, so I might as well. And then there's Bidoof. But the lighting on that one is garbage. Okay, there's one with it flying. There's my Florgas. Oh, that one's like straight up in there. Grookey. Okay, that's not a good one at all, but let's grab it. Wormpole is good. Comfy was cute and no subject. Okay, let's have a look. Dozrio. New, a new addition to our research. Nice work. Okay, so it's pose 500, size, placement. Huh. Remember, getting the whole Pokemon in the frame looking nice and big is key to a good size score. Okay, so was it not a very good one? Pichu. Nice work. Okay. 817 for the size, not bad. The Doof. Very cool. Nice oh, the Doof has the biggest size. Oh. Oh, the Doof. Oh. Okay, the Emolga is flying, but it's not very big. Oh, uh, yeah, the size wasn't very big at all. But I think the flying... A new discovery. 
Okay. So floor is. I was actually pretty happy with this one. Perfect timing. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Very nice. Gold star. Ooh. Nice okay. Work. Size huge. Huge. Just absolutely huge. Okay, Grookey, this one's gonna be a poor one. Let's, let's skip discover. passes. You don't need to see nice that. Work. Wormple! Here we go! Okay, Wormple, no, not bad. Okay, and then my comb feet. Not bad at all, bro! Okay, I'm already ready to go again, so let's just go. What did you think? Anyway. One last thing. Let me tell you about research levels. Research level on a curious tells you how much progress you've made there. Once that level goes up, you may see Pokemon behave in ways you haven't seen before. The key to raising your research level is to observe all types of Pokemon's behaviors. Mm -hmm. That means getting photographs of them in every category from one to four. Okay. Wow. So in short, fill up that Pokedex. Photodex. Keep that in mind and you'll be on the right track. So get out there and snap a lot of photos and cherish the encounters with Pokemon you have along the way. Great work researching this new site. I hope your next trip goes just as well. Oh, what did, what did I get? Photo program newbie. Okay, nice. Nice. That covers just about everything. Can we get a nighttime photo shoot later? Not yet, but soon after a little more practice. Also. By the way, don't forget you can come back to the lab and take a look at your photo decks anytime. <laughs> I'll explain more about that when you stop by the lab. Anyway. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. Go have a good time and snap some photos. This is the professor's lab. Oh? Not that it's your first time here, of course. This is where the professor does his research and works on mechanical stuff. In fact, he pretty much lives here. All right. Anyway, let me give you a quick rundown of what you can do here. Excuse me. That server over there is where we store our research work. There are a few things you can do with all that data. First. First, you can check your photo decks. That's the encyclopedic record you're building with the photos you're making. <laughs> Isn't it cool getting to put together your very own photo decks? Then. Next, there's your space. That's where you can see your personal photo album and adventure milestones. By the way, your album, your album is for photos you want to keep, but not put in your photo decks. <laughs> you can edit your album photos in some cool ways too. Oh. Hmm, am I forgetting anything? Professor! Professor! Was there anything I was supposed also. to mention? Did you cover what we can do on the internet? Oh. Oh yeah, that was it. If you use the online internet feature, you can see photos from players all around the world. All around the world. If you really like a photo, you can tell the photographer, nice job, by giving the photo a little digital medal. <laughs> They're called sweet medals. Give all you want. People love getting them. Agreed. That's right. You can also see other photographers' rankings in each score category. Okay. All right. I think that's everything. I'm sure you'll figure it all out quick. All right. Don't be shy. Try everything out. Okay, let's go on another expedition. We can't just do one, right? We can't just do one. Huh. Are you headed out on another expedition already? No. Before you go, let me tell you one more thing you can do with your research camera. You can run a scan. That'll give you details about your surroundings. It tells you about nearby Pokemon and points out anything unusual. Professor, what counts as unusual? You've never given me a solid answer. So. Basically, anything that makes the system go, check this out. Yeah. Well, I guess that's all the detail we're gonna get. Yep. You'll get the hang of it once you try it. Rita, would you mind demonstrating? Yep. Yo, Evie! Leave it to me, Professor. All right, get that camera ready. Didn't realize there was an Evie rolling around. Tutorials are based on the button, default button layout. Running a scan? It's yeah. Easy. Running the scan is easy, X all you gotta do is press X. Try, it, Try out. it out. You saw that Pokemon's name pop up, right? Okay. And what Pokemon? Did you also notice that question mark? Yeah. That tells you there's something you can take a closer look at. Okay. First, move the pointer over. Did you see the pointer change shape? Ooh. That's your cue to press and hold the X button to analyze whatever. Oh, I should have done that on the flower earlier. Give it a try. Okay. There. Now you should see the results. Okay. Come to think of it, I heard that a friend of the professor's came up with the name Neo One. Yeah. 
Well, pretty easy, right? Who is the friend? Is it Ash? When if it's Ash, I'm gonna be like, so screen. stoked. There's something nearby to check out. Okay. When you see that, try running a scan and taking a careful look around. Okay. Oh, right. I almost forgot. There's one more cool thing you should know about scanning. Okay. Some Pokemon will react to the sound and electrical signal from the skin. If it gets their attention, that's your chance to snap a photo. Okay, so I can Focus use it to scan for things and here. also prompt Pokemon to actually do stuff. Anyway, that ought to cover everything. Hey, Professor! Explanation's all done! Thank you. Thanks, Rita. Don't hesitate to run a scan. I'll tell It'll tell you a lot about your surroundings. Research. Yo! Okay, let's go to Florio again. Okay, so let's see what sort of pictures we can get knowing about the scan now. Oh, so cool! Okay. Good luck. That's for zooming. Okay, yes! Yes! Okay, I got two good photos out of that. Okay. Okay. Anything I... Oh? That did get his attention, but it's not very close. Okay. Nah. No, I think we're good. Did I get that? I mean, that might be worth keeping. Okay, he's got a nest up there. What I'm gonna do... Wait, wait, what is this? Yep. What is that? Some charred fruit underground. Did a Pokemon do this? Huh. I should take a photo of that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and now I can scan the Crystal Bloom. Or Crystal Bloom. Okay. Oh, let's see. Okay, let's try and get a jumping magic carp. Should jump. Okay, it should jump at least one more time. There we go. Okay, we got a swana. Where is that magic carp? Maybe try a scan? Okay. Okay, we got the hoot hoot, but I couldn't prompt him to actually show himself. Anything? No. Nothing crazy has happened. Okay, that goodbye, Comfy. It's time. We're almost at the end of the course. Okay. Look at me! Look at me! Okay, nice and big. Anything else in the hang of it? Of course, aren't you? Why don't you pick some photos to show me? Okay. Uh, this one. This one. This one. This one. This one. Okay, and we got a good one with Grookey and Pichu this time. Okay, so before I had gotten 500. Ooh, size is not that great. 
But we did win out in the end. Okay, let's stick with that one. Nice work. Okay, so we won out on all categories on this one. Nice. Okay, we gotta choose this one. Mm. Nice work. Okay, we got a new Amolga picture. Ooh, that's a tier one. Okay, magic carp, very cool. But I didn't get a very good size for it. Nice work. Yeah, it's kinda poopy. Kinda poopy. Wanna a new discovery. Nice oh, pose. Ooh, size though. I did get a new record. Look at that. Hoot hoot. Yes, look at those toes. A new discovery. Okay. Yo, did we just reach level two? Research level two. Alright. Another step forward for our research. I bet Pokemon in the area are getting comfortable with you. By the way, thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. Return to camp. Photography seems to be going well. Anyway. I think you're about ready for a nighttime visit to Florio Nature Park. Here's the thing. Hopefully you'll get to see one of Lintel's greatest wonders, a glow called the Illumina Phenomena. Speaking of. You're the one who discovered how that glow happens, right, Professor? Yes, I am, but explaining the process scientifically was just one step towards my ultimate goal. Finding the special Pokemon spoken of in the legends of Lintel. Wow. You mean the Illumina Pokemon? I thought they were made up. No. No, they're very much real. You've seen the photos from Captain Vincent's travel log, haven't you? What? You can barely tell what's in those photos, and they're ancient anyway, literally a hundred years old. All right. Now. Well, we can discuss that later. For now, enjoy your nighttime outing. 